Hi Mike here from Supreme Gadgets. Hope you're all having a great day. Now today I've got an unboxing of the Lynx or Linux, however you wish to pronounce it, um, 10 tablet. Okay, now I got this from Argos today. It's just arrived today and it's actually a budget tablet that runs Windows 8.1. Okay, so here is the unboxing. So first of all, let's have a look around the box. So to start with, we've got just a picture of the actual tablet itself here. Over here, we've got the Intel Inside logo and also Microsoft Office 365 one year subscription included as well. Plus obviously the Windows logo there. Okay, this actually runs a Intel Atom processor okay and the full version of windows 8.1 not windows 8 rt like that's on the uh, standard surface for instance okay, so we'll just have a look on the on the back here okay i'll just see if i can zoom in okay so what i'll just do is just briefly go through what's actually on the box here Okay, so there's just some uh, details here, so it's just a serious fun connect connected to what matters. So it's got a, this Skype logo there, safety and security, fast and familiar. Okay, and then over here is the actual sizes. So we'll just push it down there. It's uh, 258 millimeters wide, 11 millimeters um, deep, or uh, that's the thickness of it rather and 172 millimeters high sort of thing okay it's in a, a portrait uh, sorry landscape um, type there okay oops just moving the actual box around a bit there by accident okay I'm actually using my smartphone to control my camera today so it's just a little bit new to me Okay, so let's just have a look at the specifications. So it's up to 1.83 gigahertz quad core Intel Atom and it's a Z3735F processor. Okay, now I think that runs at natively 1.33 gigahertz, but obviously it can boost up to 1.83. It's got Windows 8.1, just the standard edition, not the professional. Okay, and it is the uh, standard, the RT version as well, which is great. Uh, Office 365, pre uh, personal with 12 months subscription included. Two gigabytes of RAM, a 10.1 inch display. Now it isn't a full HD, it's only 1280 by 800, but it's IPS, okay, uh, which is uh, a very good display anyway. We've got a two megapixel front and a two megapixel rear camera. Okay, so that sounds like it's quite a good front facing camera really for doing Skype calls and things like that on. It's got a HDMI output or mini HDMI output. It's got 32 gigabytes of internal memory. Okay, but you can expand that with a micro SD card, which I actually got on order a 64 gigabyte version of that. That should be here hopefully tomorrow. It's got a battery that Last is between six and eight hours, um, but we we'll obviously have to test that out ourselves. Uh, we've got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well. So let's have a look at the actual device itself. So we'll just unbox the, I'll take the skin off the wrapping. Hopefully, if it wants to. There we are, just pop that on the floor down there. So this is the box, okay, so with the actual logo there. I'll just take the lid off. I'll pop that down to one side. So here is the actual tablet itself. Okay, so it's just in some pla uh, packaging, so we'll just remove that out of the way and just have a quick look at the tablet take it out of its cellophane packaging now it does actually look like there might be some kind of screen protector on it already because it does say please peel off this mask after application so there might be some kind of screen protector on it I'm not sure 
Okay, but that's the actual display. So it's a widescreen um, display. You can see there, you can see my camera. <laughs> and we've got the familiar Windows button there at the bottom and the camera just at the top there. On the back, we've got the camera as well, just at the top there, the logo and the Intel processor. And then if I can just look on this side, what have we got on this side? We have a audio jack, a mini HDMI socket, micro SD card socket, USB port and a power supply as well there and obviously the on off switch as well. Sorry about this. Okay, nothing on that side. Nothing on the top. And on the bottom we just have a little connector as you can just see there, which actually connects to the keyboard, which I'll show you in a moment because we've actually got that in the box as well. So let's take the rest of the packaging out of here. Okay, so to start with, we've just got the basic instruction manual, which really just doesn't tell you an awful lot probably. And here is the instruction manual for the origami keyboard case as well, which is included. Just some technical specifications and a welcome to Windows guidebook as well, which is obviously what Microsoft provide because it's pre-installed. Just telling you how to uh, use a touch screen and about the uh, familiar Metro interface. And then we've got the actual case here itself as well. Okay, so this is the case, that is the keyboard part there, with the trackpad and the keys. Okay, so that looks good. We've got the pound sign on it, which is good because the one I actually saw on the internet didn't have a pound sign on, so I thought it was an American keyboard. That bit there at the top folds down and can hopefully yeah, bend into some kind of shape. So I just move the box out of the way for a moment. Whoops. As you can see there. Probably does take a bit of getting used to, but there. So you put the actual tablet on there and then you can do your typing. And then you can fold it up afterwards and it just folds up like that. Which is good. Okay, it isn't a really, really sturdy case, but at least it's got a keyboard on it, which is the main thing. So I'll move that to one side for now, and move the box back into view. And we'll just undo this side now. And hopefully this should have all the extra bits and cables and such like in it. So what we've got here is a mini micro sorry, USB to a full size USB plug for plugging your uh, accessories in. And also the power adapter, which is an unusual sort of power adapter. I think it's still kind of USB based, but it's uh, slightly different. Looks like the ones that you get on say the uh, the Xbox headsets and things like that. Okay, and that looks about it. It's actually in the box. Yeah, nothing else is in the box. So that is the unboxing. So let's just have a quick look and see if the actual uh, the actual tablet itself will boot up. Okay, so I'll just hold this button here and see if it boots up. doesn't look like it will do so I'll have to 
pop it onto charge and see if it'll boot up. So what I'll do is I'll leave this for now and then come back in a bit when I've got it sorted. So here we are, just under 24 hours later after my unboxing and it is all up and running perfectly fine. What I did actually have to do was charge the device for quite a while before it would actually boot up. If you remember a few minutes ago when I showed you in my unboxing video, I tried to boot it up straight out of the box and it just wouldn't work. And I read in the manual that it should work um, because it had roughly half the battery life in it, but obviously it didn't on my particular model. So I did have to charge it up for possibly 15 to 20 minutes before I could even start up. Uh, the actual device. Once it started up, went into Windows, did all the initial setup, set up with my account, my Hotmail account or Windows Live as it's called nowadays, um, and straight into into Windows itself and you get the start menu or the start screen as it is in Windows 8 and the touchscreen as you can see works absolutely flawlessly no problem at all with the touchscreen and you can click on desktop and you can go to a fully fledged Windows 8.1 desktop experience. So it's not an RT edition of Windows. So you've not got all that limitations that the RT version has where you can only install certain pieces of software from the Windows Store. You can install pretty much what you want on this, so long as obviously the tech specs support the software. So, okay, you probably can't install really high-end games on it um, and things like that. But other than that, pretty much any piece of software you throw at it, obviously, as long as it's uh, tech specs are okay, it will work. And in actual fact, it comes with a year's subscription to Win uh, sorry, Office 8.1 sorry office <laughs> 365 and as you can see there uh, okay just accept the agreement we've got Microsoft Word up and running and there it is straight away got uh, Google Chrome on here so we'll just double tap on there Google Chrome appears quite quickly as you can see there close that down the touch screen on the main part of Windows is a bit iffy because it's more designed for a mouse. But obviously with the keyboard that you get with this, which is quite a good keyboard to be honest, you do get a touchpad as well. It's only a one button trackpad, so it can't do double cl uh, right clicks on it unless of course you can do, yes you can. You can actually do like you can on the uh, Mac where you can actually tap with two fingers and it brings up the, uh, the right click. Okay, you can also do a right click on the screen by just holding down, you get a square up and then it right clicks for you and you can drag and that sort of thing. And you can also zoom in to applications that support zoom as well. So we go into the start menu and as I showed you, it is really fluid, the uh, actual touch screen. Uh, and if we go into the computer settings, I can actually show you the tech specs of it. We're going to change PC settings there. And then if I go into PC and devices, PC info at the bottom, and there we are. It's the Lynx or Linux 10. Um, it's an Intel Atom CPU. Uh, running at 1.33 gigahertz, it's got two gigabytes of RAM. It's actually only got a 32-bit Windows 8 version on it, but it is a 64-bit processor, so you could possibly install Windows 64-bit on there if you wanted to. And uh, it's got a full 10-point touchscreen. It's got Windows 8.1 with Bing. Windows is fully activated, and you've got the technical support information there. The disk space. As I said, it's only 32 gigabytes for the main disk space. And once you've got some apps on there, it will fill up probably quite quickly. But you can insert USB pen drives in here using the actual adapter, which I've just got here, which is quite a neat adapter. So it's literally just a mini or micro USB there and a full size USB there. Now, in actual fact, I thought it was USB 2 on this device but looking at the system settings in windows it does seem to think it's a usb 3. i haven't actually had time to test it out yet 
but I will do and I'll see if it is a USB 3 uh, port because that'd be absolutely fantastic it would be really really fast then so that'd be handy if it was now the screen itself if I can get back to the actual uh, desktop the screen itself is 800 pixels down and 1280 across which isn't quite full HD but it is classed as a HD screen because 720p is classed as HD um, but you can see the pixels so it isn't quite as crisp as say the iPad or the iPhone or one of the MacBook um, retina displays but it is really clear and it uh, does look a good screen so it's certainly well worth it and really for the price it's a budget laptop or budget tablet um, for £179 including the keyboard and mouse it's absolute bargain it really is so I'm well chuffed with it uh, what I'll do is I'll explore it a bit more install more software on it I've tried to install um, if I can guess it's down there Minecraft Minecraft does work it's a little bit shaky at times but that might have been because when I was trying to play it I was also installing some updates at the same time uh, it's also got things like as asphalt on here so we're going to asphalt you can see asphalt loads up no problem just a little bit slower maybe than the iPad at loading you can see we'll just tap OK play I won't actually go in and play it just now because obviously I'd have to take it off its stand I might be able to let's have a look see if we can play it with the keys sound despite what I've actually read is actually quite loud I quite find I find the sound quite good actually I'm just trying can we uh, play it with the keys let's try it oh yes you can actually so I'll just show you actually I'll pause it and just do a zoom in on the screen so you can possibly see it a little bit better There we are, and we'll do a resume and have a quick go at this level. Whoa, dear.
and as you can see it plays really well click next on here and exit the actual game so you, what you do to exit is just simply drag down from the top and throw it at the bin at the bottom kind of thing as it were the other thing about this obviously is it's a bit like the surface pro just unclip it from there and there it is it's now a tablet and simply clip it on there like a magnet hey presto so we pull it off here it's magnetically clipped onto there as you can see the origami case and stand is here and it just fold up like that and pop it back on there just turn it off and then what you do to shut it up is fold it down there like that and then flip that up oops and there we are so I'll shut up there and then to open it up again you push it back there and then you can pull it up there and it's a little bit fiddly because I'm stood in back of the camera but stand the origami stand up and there we are back on the lock screen and that's my cat Isaac so there we are that is my first initial impressions of the Lynx 10 um, as you can see I'm here okay what I'll do is I'll uh, obviously explore it more see how it works even more install more software on it and then bring you another look further down the line so until next time thanks very much for watching bye and just before we go let's just have a little bit of fun and see which boots up quicker the macbook air 2013 model here on the uh, on the left that has got a 1.7 gigahertz i5 i7 processor 256 gigabytes of ssd and 8 gigabytes of ram and on this side we have the lynx 10 uh, it's a 2014 model so it's got 32 gigabytes of ssd 2 gigabytes of ram and it's an Atom processor running at 1.33 gigahertz. So let's see if we can actually get these booted up at the same time. I'm going to have to hope for the best here. Yep, they're both booted up and there we are, they're both at it. And let's see which one boots up quickest. You can see the apples there nearly booted. Oh. Whoa, there's not much in it, but the actual Lynx did actually boot up slightly quicker. Maybe that's because it is brand new at the moment and there isn't a lot of stuff on it. But there was hardly anything in it, literally maybe a few milliseconds to a second. So that is absolutely fantastic. They're both great machines, but obviously this is a lot more powerful, the MacBook Air. So I'll be going on my MacBook Air now to edit this video and get it uploaded to YouTube for you all. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Well, thanks for stopping by and checking out our video. If you liked it, be sure to give it that thumbs up. And you can always leave a comment below to let us know what you thought as well. Be sure to subscribe. That way you get kept up to date with all our brand new videos as soon as they're released. Check out our blog by clicking this button over here. And you can always follow us on Twitter and Facebook too, at Supreme Gadgets. Also, if you want to watch another of our videos, click on it, right here. You sure can't tempt me? Go on, click on it. Alright then, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.